Hey guys, in this video series, we're going to use the Dash Python library to build a dashboard, which you can see in front of you right now. So it's a consumer home insurance dashboard. So that's what the house is here for. Home is often the term used for residential property insurance in the insurance industry. So we'll have a data set with a bunch of residential property risks and we'll uh, summarize it into what you can see in front of you right now in this dashboard so on the left here to give you a quick tour around it so the left here is you can think of this as the control panel up the top here if you select 2017 it'll populate these boxes here and since they're checklists not radio buttons you can select multiple ones so it'll be the aggregate over the years that have been selected here and you can obviously toggle and um, change which ones you want so if you want 2019 only you can just select that if we move down here we can see loss ratio graph so it's tying into the data that we have and we got a loss ratio by year so if we wanted all loss ratios we can add 2018 there we can move this slider here so if you want the full year uh, it'll give you the full year for each one of these years included in the data set but say for example if you just wanted the June quarter you could go from April to June and it'll show you the quarter there and you can also see from there the amount that they move from year to year you see the volatility and the claims which is not unreasonable for um, insurance claims so we move down and we got a claim severity distribution so if you look at this here, it's uh, quite small because there is some, sorry, I'll reset the axis here. It's quite small because for 2019, there is claims way out in the tail out here. So quite large claims, but as you can see, they're quite infrequent. But if you focus more around the congested area here, you can see that it takes on a pretty typical claims distribution or claim severity distribution for insurance losses. As you can see, you got smaller losses, higher frequency of the smaller losses. And as you go into the larger sort of losses, the frequency drops right out to here where you've essentially just got one or two right out in the tail here for 2019. And we just threw the sum insured distribution in here as well. So you can sort of see the same sort of thing that a lot of the properties are gonna have a sum insured clustered around the low end, but as you get higher valued properties, you're gonna have the odd $2 million property out here or potentially, yeah, about a $4.3 million property out here. So that's that. So that's a quick tour of the dashboard. It's all automated with Python code if I haven't mentioned that already and in the next video we'll start moving through that and start writing the code to build this thing just before we finish this one off I've put the code in this github repository so I'll be able to put the link of that in the video description here's the actual app itself for the Python code so we'll run through this in a number of videos we won't be able to do it in a single video but that'll be the code that'll get our dashboard up and running. There's also a CSS file in the assets folder here. So we've got home CSS and I've taken a CSS file off the dash apps gallery page. So the actual Python library page and just modified their CSS file to suit my needs here. So thanks to those guys for putting that up. And there's also data here, which will be in the form of a CSV file, the data that we need to essentially feed to our dashboard and have these numbers come through, as you can see here. So we'll cut this one off now. We'll head to the next video and we'll start writing some code.